Aloha friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a fun haul for you guys today. I went to the Asian market this morning and I bought a whole bunch of Asian products and I wanted to share them with you guys. So we're gonna start on this end. I got some Japanese candy for my daughter and my son. They love watching these videos on YouTube so I thought it would be a fun idea to get them their own so they can create their own. But look at how cute this is. It looks like ramen but it's actually candy and it comes with the side of, it looks like gyoza but that's candy candy as well but I bought um, five little packages for my kids here I have some beef and onion with oriental style sauce this is basically gyudon without the rice you just pop this in the microwave or you can dip it in boiling hot water and then you open up the packet and then you pour it over rice hot rice so it's an easy dinner here I got some gyoza that I'll be frying up or steaming this I'll be using for my daughter's lunchbox um, if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you guys follow me on my vlogs, you guys know that my daughter recently started preschool, so I've been packing her lunch on a daily basis. So if you guys want to see what I've been packing her, head over to my Instagram. It's Rose Austin C, and I post daily pictures of her bento boxes. Here I have some black bean paste. Um, so this is a Korean product. I make this noodle dish called jajamyeon or jajamyeon. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I saw a recipe on YouTube. It was actually Mommy Tang's recipe and I've been following it and the kids love it. So I've been making this a lot. This is actually our second jar. The, the first one is already gone. So on to the next, I bought some pastry rolls and these are like nice spongy bread and they come in like layers. So you would peel the layer off and in between the layers is some chocolate. They come in different flavors, but my kids love the chocolate flavor, so I got them one each. Here I got some bento, um, bento lunches. This is my lunch later on today. I got the shrimp tempura, and my son is always hungry after school, so I decided to get him a chicken katsu bento. It's like a mini size, but yeah, he is such a growing boy. He's always hungry. Um, here I got some pocky sticks, or pokey. I call it pocky, but I know some people pronounce it pocky. But I got the chocolate and the strawberry. There's nine little packs in each, so I got two of that. Here I got some little containers. Um, this is what it looks like assembled. So basically I'll be putting salad dressing, ketchup, mayo, mustard, whatever it is. I'll be using the, these for my um, either my, my husband's lunchbox or my daughter's lunchbox. My son doesn't really do lunch or home lunch because his school has a cafeteria and we just pay for his lunches. Here I got some furikake puff rice cakes. Um, these are actually made in Hawaii. They're such an awesome snack. They're super addictive and very yummy. Um, I got some honey balls, also known as baby ball cookies, but my daughter likes this. I'll be putting this in her, in her snack box when she goes to school. Here I got some snacks. It's a Japanese snacks. I don't know what it's called. Obviously it's written in Japanese and I don't read Japanese, but my kids love them. They're like a little stick and it's coated in honey and they sprinkle furikake all over it. But these are very yummy as well. And um, I got some new gadgets for my daughter's bento boxes. Um, these are rice molds. Um, it's hard to see, but there's a heart. And the middle here is a star and then like a bear face. But I'll be using this for her bento boxes when she goes to school. And these are um, little sauce boxes. Um, they're basically what this does. But for my daughter, I think it's so cute if I put this in her bento box because obviously look at how cute that is. But I'll be putting salad dressing in here, ketchup, mayo, or whatever she wants or whatever she has in her bento box that day. I got some cutters. So I'll be using this for fruits, cutting up fruits or like meats, luncheon meats or fish cake like kamaboku and putting this into my daughter's box or bento box. I got a new little container, but I like this because it actually um, twists on and off so the food stays nice and secure without spilling. But, um, uh oh, hold on guys. This is the bottom part and it has like this little lid that you can take off. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Hopefully I can. There we go. 
So I can put soups in here. I can put like miso soup or um, like Filipino soups like some chicken tinola. And then this is awesome because it comes with the lid. Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. Anyways, you get the idea. You can put the lid on and then this top part will twist on so it seals it without it spilling over. And in here, I can put like her rice or if she's having, if I pack her chowder, I can put crackers in here or like pieces of bread that she can dip her chowder in. And then you put this on, seal it, and then the top lid goes on, you seal it. So everything is compact and safe without, you know, spill proof basically. And last but not least, I got some sponges. These are netted sponges. I think this is, I think it's a Japanese brand. But I love these. I like this over the regular sponges that you get at like Costco or like Walmart or whatever. But these are actually the best. I always go for these. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Asian market haul. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please do so. But anyways, thanks, for, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Aloha guys. See you next time.